got five people in the uh, car headed for the dance party at the Thomas Jefferson Woo! Memorial. Some of us uh, are too chicken to get arrested. Some of us are braver. <laughs> So we'll start with the uh, the brave ones, the uh, those willing to be arrested. Okay, so here we have Ethan and uh, Nicole. There you go. And we have John. Let's start with Ethan. Are uh, you you? Uh, we were talking earlier. You mentioned uh, being willing to be arrested, but not looking for not looking for an arrest. What are, what are you going to do down there? Oh, I'm just going to go chill and dance and hang out with friends and you know do the general solidarity thing for those who have been arrested in the past for dancing on Jefferson at Jefferson Memorial during his birthday to celebrate it. Hopefully there will be no arrest this time, but you never know what Taiwans are going to do. That's very true. That's very true. So maybe we can go into a little bit of background as to what this is about. Back during no. 2008, uh, Jason Talley was filming some people dancing at Jefferson Memorial for his party. This was during the Ron Paul Revolution days when a lot of YouTube videos were going around. And as a result, I think it was the Jefferson one, or there was people. There were people arrested and were held for a while. And I believe recently, or possibly within the last 12 months, there was a court case that decided that it was perfect. Uh, legal to restrict to restrict the dancing at the memorial because it was supposed to, basically described it as a secular church worshiping the state. Um, going back to the 08 stuff, the charges were all dropped. I believe they were charged for something like uh, demonstrating without a permit. Um, but then they went ahead and sued or something. I'm not sure what happened afterward. Most recently, Adam Kokesh of Adam vs. the Man and a former Iraq war vet was dancing with several other people, I believe over Jefferson's birthday as well, and a recent YouTube video came out where they were stopped, even a couple slow dancing, not causing any disturbance. Um, and then Adam was barely dancing when he was slammed to the ground and choked. So we were going out there a few weeks later to support their efforts. Are you Sir. a journalist for Russian TV, the English language service? I'm a host of Adam vs. the Man, and uh, they've given me full editorial control by contract, and I'm grateful to have that platform. It's something that the American government does all over the world, subverting other governments, and it's sort of like we're the rebels in Libya, except that when we called for close air support, we got a TV show instead. Person who in 2008 uh, wanted to come here and dance, 18 people joined me. One of those people was brutally arrested. They were uh, slammed against one of these columns here um, by the uh, U.S. Park Police. They went through the system um, to try to uh, receive justice, and uh, we received a recent court ruling by a, a judge who said that um, that wasn't the way to memorialize Thomas Jefferson. But as you can see, a lot of people disagree with that, uh, that judge's opinion. Can you understand that view that you know tourists may be coming here from China or Japan or you know? Um, I think it'd be great if they uh, saw people express their freedoms and uh, in a bunch of different ways, especially uh, silent dancing. I, mean, I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't, and I especially don't see why uh, the United States Park Police law enforcement would uh, brutally harm people like we saw last weekend. I saw, I saw a, a chokehold. I saw somebody being body slammed, and just for dancing. So I think that's why we, we're seeing greater numbers today uh, because uh, it first started as a celebration, and now it's protesting the uh, the tactics by the uh, Park Police. It's unfortunate, but it's uh, it's really inspiring to see so many people come out today. Can you go on uh, all right. Uh, I like your. I, now, did you have? Did you make this up special? Somebody actually made this shirt. Uh, just the effort behind um, what's going on today. It's very spontaneous. It's decentralized, and uh, so somebody was passing out these uh, T-shirts. There's a website, JeffersonDanceParty.info, where you can catch our live stream and our updates of this dance party and future uh, dance parties. Uh, people are passing out flyers with a song that uh, they may sing today, a "State Free Dance." I'm waiting, I'm waiting for all you. To get arrested, so please Whoa. get on with the show. What are, okay, what about the liberty to uh, freedom of expression? I mean, you seem to be opposed we to it. We have plenty of freedom of expression down here. You want to see people get arrested for dancing? I don't think yeah. they should go into that area. Well, what happens That's freedom what the law of expression? Said. We got plenty of freedom down well, here. We can talk. Well, the German law said the Jews got to die. Signs. You support that kind of they're law? Just, they're just
just c telling you there's a certain little area right there where the families and the parents go to respectfully understand and appreciate the monument. Sir, and you yeah, want to interfere with you their rights. You just want to ruin that whole environment. You want to desecrate. We want to practice. No who defines well, how do you, Wait a minute. How do you, how do you have the liberty? and the law. It's been decided in court. The decides for me what's respectful. You lost. Okay? You lost the court case. I'm, I'm sorry. Part of this I'm not part of this group. And I want to ask you something. Go. Okay, go back to court. Don't define get for your, me what's Get your respectful. National Lawyers Guild attorney and go to court. Get the law overturned. Fine. Fight them in court. But don't interrupt the solemn atmosphere of these families Who's interrupting? Who's interrupting? We will take our country back. One dance step at a time. Be it the Fandango, the Rumba, the Cha Cha Cha. We will take our country back. This is sickening. This is America. This is what we've become. Where they bring machine guns to aggress against peaceful people. This is America. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all of y'all, but this is where we're at. But it's our fault. It's our fault. We let we let the state take over. We're the bosses. But this is it. This is America. This is sickening. This is it. This is what they are. They are violent. And they commit violence against peaceful people every day. My heart is crying. Thomas Jefferson's tears would flood the earth if he could see this. Thomas Jefferson would shoot. If Thomas Jefferson saw this, his tears would flood the earth. This is about Jose Orenia, the Marine veteran who was killed by a SWAT team in Tucson in a drug raid that found no drugs. This is about the guy that was thrown out of his wheelchair at the U Street Metro right here in Washington and was left bleeding on the sidewalk while two officers stood over him. This is about the baby who was molested by the TSA. This is about everyone who's ever been molested by the TSA. This is about standing up to a police state that is out of control and no one is safe from. The world is dancing because oppression by the police state is a feature of modern government that must be ended one way or another. If our government refuses to treat us like human beings, to be explicitly clear, it is time for peaceful non-compliance. It is time to withdraw our support from government, and it is a process that is already underway. I certainly know where Thomas Jefferson would have stood on the issue. So in his honor, and in his spirit, we will continue to dance when we must to assert our rights. Mom.